remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A stupid-ass Cleveland Heights teenager and his friends are in hot water after police say they staged a fake armed robbery of the teen's mother. Police say the 17-year-old's idea of playing the prank on his mother was to conspire with three of his friends, put on ski masks, and confront the 40-year-old woman in her driveway. Investigators say the suspects ordered the woman into the house where they pointed a gun at her head, told her to get on the floor, and demanded her money. The so-called prank ended badly for the teenager and his friends when the 17-year-old staged a fight with the intruders inside of his house and his mother ran out of the house, terrified. The 17-year-old and one of his friends are facing juvenile charges while the two adults that was involved in the stunts, 19-year-old Isaiah Welch and 18-year-old Jeremy Perry, are facing charges that include inducing panic. Police seized the cell phone that was used by the boy to record the incident. Investigators say the only weapon that was recovered was an airsoft pistol. The 17-year-old is a YouTuber. So not only was he doing the prank for laughs, but he was doing it for money. Sacrificed his mother's mental stability for some damn money and shits and giggles. What a horrible damn son. What kind of mind could develop that type of thinking? Your mama already traumatized daily when you don't show up on time, when you stay out too late, constantly worried about your stupid ass, and you go out and do something like that. They said that the woman ran out of the house and was hiding on a neighbor's porch. The neighbor called 911. This fool tried to make a preemptive move by calling 911 before anybody else did and confessing to the 911 operator that he had conducted a prank robbery on his mother. And he told them to not send the police to the house aggressively. So, Common sense, straight dummy. But then you got to wonder, he had enough common sense to call the police, I mean to call 911 and say, hey, don't send the police over here aggressively because he know the police can be very aggressive when it comes to black males. This is why no one should play these type of games, but especially black males. With the way police are gunning down black males for, for little or nothing, and you put yourself in that type of position to have the police show up at your house, guns drawn, you damn fool. Every last one of you, all everybody in your clique, a damn dummy. The blind leading the blind. Fake robbery, real time. Man, you got some people saying, well, she ran out of the house and left her son to fight the intruders. She didn't know it was fake, so if it was real, her son would have been in the house by herself. You damn idiot. She was running to get help. Ain't no use to both of them being in the house and dying, which would have probably happened if it had been a real situation and you had some real intruders with a gun. She had an opportunity to break and she took it. It's almost like being on a plane. What do they say? Like, you know, grab the life vest 
for yourself first. Save yourself first. Put that damn oxygen mask on first for yourself. Put that oxygen mask on for yourself first. One was trying to get some help. If it had been a real situation, both of them could have got caught up and nobody probably would have found the bodies for two or three days. Maybe a week or so. But what a horrible damn son. Boy, I can't imagine one of my children playing a prank like that. I can't imagine my son doing something like that to me or his mother. Man. You know, it's bad enough that they did the prank. But it goes to show you, though, this underscores how soft and weak they are. It was four of them in the house, four males in the house. Four young, I'm sure, able-bodied men in the house, males in the house. And they could not stop a 40-year-old woman from running out of the house. Whatever your name is, I'm talking to the 17-year-old first and foremost, because it was your mother. Your friends, they clowns too. They're all clowns, but it was your mother, and it's your mother that's, that was left traumatized, and it was your stupid-ass idea to do her like that. So considering that you're the one that hatched up this erroneous ass prank your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out no more talk what, what, what the haters talking about yeah.